So this um, this here is a uh, it's a moth trap. This is a Robinson moth trap. Oh, right? Indeed, it's a Robinson moth trap. Yeah, it's the, most moth traps are on the same principle. The moths fly towards the light. Uh, they hit these baffles here. They drop down to the moth trap, and then they're trapped amongst these lovely egg boxes here. Unharmed, we should say. Unharmed, yes, unharmed, of course. Uh, amongst the egg boxes, and then we come along in the morning, open the moth trap up, and we find out what's inside. That's the best bit about moth trapping. You never know what's going to be under these egg boxes. So should we uh, look inside, Bob? Should, yep. we, should we unwrap it? Do the honours. Moths are incredibly important part of our ecosystem. They're, they're pollinators. A lot of, lot of flowers get pollinated at night by them, and trees, things like sallow. Um, I think probably most of important of all, they're bird food. They're, their caterpillars provide uh, a, a vital source of uh, nourishment for, for young birds in the nest. Bats eat them. Um, there are of course moths such as the cinnabar moth which are highly toxic and uh, birds won't eat but um, there aren't too many of those. Okay here's the first egg box. Right do you want to okay. well, talk us through here Bob? What have oh, we got, got here? Plenty of white ermine. We've got buff ermine. Treble lines. The moth with three lines. Here's What's the one with gold spots on it called? Well, would you believe it? It's called a gold spot. <laughs> Even though it's got it's gold simple. spots. So, one thing I love about moths is the different diversities of, of patterns, of colours, of sizes and shapes. How many different species are there, Bob, in, uh, in Britain? About two and a half thousand. Two and a half thousand. And there's... In Sussex, we've got 1,800, 2,000 species okay. as well. Uh, so, it's quite a good total. And in that, there's, there's the micro moths, there's the smaller ones, mm -hmm. and the larger macro moths. Indeed. Uh, and we've seen, uh, we've seen today some, you know, some incredible uh, camouflage patterns. We saw the buff tip, which looks very much like a uh, broken bit of uh, birch twig. And the pale prominent looks like a bit of stick. Mm -hmm. And we've seen some of the larger moths. So we had some hawk moths here, Bob, didn't we? What's, uh, what, what hawk moths do we have? Well, we had Iden poplar, both of which are fantastic camouflage when they're, when they're uh, just dormant during the day. You're never going to spot them, even though they're three inch wingspans. Uh, and, and people think they're, they're quite boring little brown things, moths, but of course we've seen today there's been quite uh, a variety of colours. Uh, so we had cinnabar. Um, black and red. Black and red. Beautiful. We had the, this one here, the lovely gold spot, which actually is a lovely shiny gold, iridescent uh, on its wings. And greens and yellows. Yeah, greens, yes. So there's a, a real variety of colours mm. and, uh, as well. This moth survey, which uh, Bob and I have just done today, is part of an ongoing survey we've been running here at Woods Mill. Uh, for many years, but uh, you can find all these moths in your own back garden if you have your own moth trap. Uh, and so if you look at our website, it'll give you more details about some of the courses we run at Woods Mill, which uh, will teach you uh, how to uh, run a moth trap in your garden and identify the moths that you'll catch.